finally made it, guys. 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> Only took me three and a half years, huh? So, in order to celebrate, I thought I might do something a little bit different this time. So, um, many of you guys know that I've been very highly critical of Resident Evil 6. You know, it didn't really... It didn't really meet standards, in my opinion. You know, it was a huge disappointment. And overall, I just, I didn't like it. You know, I'm, I've made some comments about this before. And I want to kind of explain it a little bit. You know, the picture was amazing. You know, it, had, it definitely had the best quality and the best graphics out of any Resident Evil game that's been created, hands down. But the gameplay itself blows. You know, and I'm tired of these, you know games that just keep getting released that have absolutely little or no work added to them and the whole game in my opinion was just a complete insult to its fans like myself who have devoted years and money you know to these games and it just baffles me the whole thing so I want to kind of explain it a little bit for those of you who really like the game who are going to dislike this video just basically on the tide on the title I want you to kind of hear me out a little bit because I have some, you know, I, I, I still have some things I want to say. And if after the video you don't, you still disagree with me, then go ahead and dislike it. But I want you to hear me out first. And I still know that there are many fans out there who have played the entire franchise who really did like Resident Evil 6. And I completely respect their opinion, you know. You have every right to like the game. But there is also a lot of people out there who didn't like the game who are in my shoes. And I want to kind of relate to them. So this is going to be a new type of video, guys. These are the top 10 reasons why Resident Evil 6 sucks. Reason number one. Some of these cutscenes are so anticlimactic, it's not even funny. They're so painful to sit through. As a matter of fact, on my walkthrough, I had nothing to say during them. It was awkward and embarrassing. It seems that Crapcom, uh, I'm sorry, Capcom is running out of ideas to sell us. And it's getting annoying. Number two, what is up with these ammo shortages? Seriously, there is no ammo. They give you all the ammo that you need in the world at the beginning, and then from that point on, it just becomes so scarce. You find yourself with one assault rifle mag and two grenades at best. It's like I'm trying to find the last bit of ammo that I can in the few crates they have available, and all I can find are 15 pistol rounds. Reason number three. Is there a reason why they divided the game up into three different scenarios? Is there? It's like as if the first scenario wasn't painful enough to play through. I got two more waiting for me. It's pointless. Oh, and let's not forget Ada's bonus scenario after you beat those three, because, like, that's going to redeem the game at all, right? Reason number four. Speaking of poor storylines, the plot in Resident Evil 6 is pathetic. All it is is filled with cliches. Oh, instead of Umbrella, they're going to call it Neo Umbrella. Instead of the G virus or the T virus, let's call it the C virus. Seriously, stop selling off your new storylines. It's complete crap. Reason number five. I swear to God, some of these creatures that they've added are just appalling. They're unoriginal. They're uncreative. They're not even fun to fight anymore. Hmm, we've already used the zombie. Maybe if we make him fat, that will sell a few more copies. Whatever. Reason number six. The new melee system in the game is just such a disappointment. It's so broken. It's like I'm hitting a creature and it's not doing anything. Have you ever put like some serious effort into something and then you find out short shortly afterwards that it was completely counterproductive to begin with? I have seen this happen before.
Reason number seven. Nothing in the game is remotely scary. It's supposed to be a Resident Evil game. Nothing is scary. You know, I'm not asking for anything that's gonna, like, you know, scare me shitless or anything. But at least give me something that'll, like, you know, give my nerves a jump. Nothing! You wanna know the last time I was so that I found something scary in Resident Evil? You wanna know? Reason number eight. This is something that I kind of found a little bit disturbing. That one car chase scene in Chris's scenario, when you're with Piers and Chris, and you're you know chasing Carla in the in the Jeep, it's it didn't even feel like Resident Evil at that point. It's like, is this really what this franchise is becoming? We've gone from Resident Evil to Gran Turism now. Please tell me you're joking. Number nine, the boss fights are so boring. They're painful to play through, and they never give you any indication on how to beat them. You know, you play like halfway through, and you have to pause the game because you're so bored and you want to find something else to distract yourself from it for a while. Especially that end fight against Simmons. They don't give you any indication on how to beat him at the end. And then when he actually does die, you question whether or not they're, like, you know, they're not going to bring him back from the dead a few more times before the game actually ends. And now, reason number 10 is Resident Evil is no longer the great franchise it once was. What once used to be a survival horror game is now a mindless third-person shooter. And over the last few games, I really tried my best to see past all of the errors that it made, but I'm done now. It's become evident that Capcom is becoming really lazy and is going to continue to be making these games that have absolutely no thrills to them, and they no longer appeal to their diehard fans like me. So you want to know something? I'm done. Resident Evil 6 was seriously the last straw. I'll admit though, there were some things about the game that I did enjoy. Like the ability to free sprint and the ability to move and shoot at the same time. But despite these minor improvements, the whole game overall was just a complete disappointment. And I'll be completely honest with you guys, I tried guys. I really, really tried to enjoy this game as much as I could. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. There was just so much bullshit in the way. And I kept pushing through that bullshit, trying to figure, you know, trying to find a point, you know, that I could enjoy and at least say, hey, I liked the game at least, but I can't find that. And I'm starting to look back at some of these older Resident Evil games, and I'm starting to see where I draw the line as to why these games are better than, you know, these modern Resident Evil games. With the old Resident Evil game, at least you had great plot de detail, you had great character dynamic, you had a soundtrack, you know, that actually had emotion to it. You had suspense. Not once when I was playing Resident Evil 6 did chills, you know, run down my back. That really says something when a game doesn't do that and it's labeled survival horror. And it seems that Capcom really isn't, you know, a company that cares anymore about making quality games. All they are are a bunch of cash whores that care about lining their pockets. And so I can no longer call myself a Resident Evil freak if the remaining games that they're making are going to be like this anymore. So, you know, if you still like Resident Evil, then if you want my advice, go back to the old games. Any game that was made before 2005 that was made by Capcom for Resident Evil, play the game. You will enjoy it, I promise. So there you go. The top 10 reasons why Resident Evil 6, in my opinion, sucks. And I want to thank everybody for, you know, watching this. And even those who don't, you know, completely, you know, support my opinion on this. For those of you who really did enjoy the game, you have every right to dislike this video. I just want to say thanks for actually, you know, hearing me out and listening. Because you have as much of a right to an opinion on this game as I do. So if you really do enjoy this game, then keep playing it. But, you know... At least you hear it from somebody who's actually played the entire series. And, again, I just want to say thanks. So this video, guys, has kind of inspired me to do something a little different. Um, I've decided to reward my viewers. For every 100 subscribers that I get, I will post a new top 10 reasons why blank is blank. So if it's a movie, a video game, a band, anything that I like or dislike, I will give you top 10 reasons why I support that belief. So if you seem interested in this idea, then go ahead, tell your friends, spread the word, share some of my videos. 
we'll get some more subscribers, build up the community, and who knows, you might see something that you like. So just something to keep you guys interested in.